Well, Kansas City's decked out for this weekend's wild card playoff game against the Miami Dolphins. As you look at Union Station, Kansas City, and everybody's talking about how cold it is going to be this weekend, Jesse, in Kansas City for that game on Saturday evening. You know, um, I feel bad for Miami because they had an opportunity not to be playing Kansas City this weekend if they took care of business earlier in a regular season. Sure. Let's say they had won that uh, last game against uh, Buffalo that they lost. They could have been playing in Miami this weekend where temperature is going to be in the middle 70s, and that sounds a lot better than potentially playing temperatures in the single digits feeling more like negative teens. Yeah, in, in this case, it could be one of the coldest NFL games. Oof. We'll get to a look at some of those coldest in history in a moment. But I figured I'd ask the person with the most collegiate <laughs> football experience. Five years Jesse played at South Alabama for the Jags. So... How much different, you know, how much more uncomfortable is it or even painful is it to play in the cold? So I can speak just from a lineman perspective. I will say as temperatures get below freezing, as you're like trying to punch, let's say the offensive lineman's chest and hitting their shoulder uh, pass plate, mm -hmm. it feels like just a brick wall. You just continue just to hit that brick wall for four quarters. After a while, that kind of hurts and I just feel for the even like the, the receivers and everyone else out in the field even the kickers too kicking that ball in this kind of cold mm -hmm. feel like they're just kicking just like a big ice cube or a big brick as well too yeah there's gonna be some pain felt in this football game in, in my games, opinion in games like this you see the players go out you see their breath you know it's cold you see the cutaways to the fans but then you see them on the sideline when they're not on action they're next to the heaters they've got oh, yes. coats on oh yes so are you are you do you warm up eventually from playing, or is you it do. just cold start to finish? No, you, you do. You do warm up as well as you get to work, you get to running around and stuff like that. Now, I may be a softy, but in, in, <laughs> in the cooler games I played in, I wanted sleeves on. Mm -hmm. I know that some of my uh, D line teammates they were you know want to be tough guys. Mm -hmm. They want to go out there with the no sleeves and stuff like that. I told them you all can do that. I'm not going to do that because I want to be warm. What do you do to keep your hands warm? I mean, my, my hands are cool right now, and we're in a 70-degree studio. So, I mean, zero with wind chills uh, below zero. How do you keep them warm? Well it's, it's, uh, well, it's not like you can wear, like, those specialized mittens and gloves that yeah. everyday people will be using over the uh, next couple of days. You just got the equipment that you got. And, and I really feel bad for the ones that are out there really being those tough men, offensive linemen, defensive mm -hmm. linemen going out there with – no gloves at on, you really feel for those guys. You think they get in that, in that stance, they're touching the ground, oh, granted hurts. with gloves on, then they, like you said, punch the uh, opponent yeah. uh, right in the chest. So we looked up some of the coldest NFL mm -hmm. games according to NFL.com. Of course, everybody goes back to the Ice Bowl, you know, the back 1967 Green Bay, Lambeau Field, minus 13. I feel like Lambeau Field probably is on this list a couple of times. I, I remember the game back in 2008 between yep. the Packers, I believe, the, the Giants. Mm -hmm. And that game looked brutal, I believe. Uh, Eli Manning and possibly Brett Favre or maybe Rodgers. I don't remember which one. They were playing that game. That was a, really, that was a playoff game, too. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you can go out there and, and go through the motions. you got to play very intense because this is now win or go home. Kickoff temperature, Kansas City Saturday, single digits, but it'll be dropping. So I put eight as the kickoff temperature, but it'll be dropping uh, through the evening with a even colder wind chills. Unbelievable. Uh, big props to, yes, the fans that are going out there, but also the players that have to go into this situation, especially from Miami, too. Yeah, I got a question for you, Steve. Sure. Now, if you were going to the game or maybe if you were a player, would you try to be trying to tough it out with not wearing the sleeves or... How would you be dressing for the occasion? I tell you, what, I would not be that person that they cut to from the camera breaks, where shirtless and they they no, got everything on body no, paint. No, no. To be honest, I think that the crews and the television side do such a good job on the television side that I would just watch it at home because uh, the the quality you get at home in your seventy degree home is is really good. Well, if you go into the game, make wow. sure you're hydrated, make sure you're dressing layers, because of course frostbite could be a concern out there, being out there pretty long, and also with those very cold feel like temperatures that we can see too. Well, I appreciate the perspective. Thanks, Jesse. Maybe we can get a little toss this thing around in the uh, sub-zero weather coming in. Not happening. <laughs> <laughs>